Hello guys. Today we are talking to Eugene Kipkin, CEO of EMDC IO Mining Pool. And our topic, as you may guess, is mining. So we'll talk about the future of mining and you are welcome to join us in this discussion. So welcome, Eugene. Hello, Anna. Thank you for having me here and uh, thank you for everyone for joining this session. Yeah, thanks so much. So as we previously talked, um, you have a huge experience in Web3 already as you joined it uh, at the very early stage. So could you tell us a bit about your background, how you got uh, into this crypto space, into the Web3 space? Yeah, uh, thanks for the question. I hope I was lucky enough uh, to just live in Prague in Czech Republic in the year of 2016, where like my the crypto hype was uh, started very early actually and uh, at the start i was trading and then i saw a problem on the crypto mining space or crypto mining market i uh, and i created my own uh, mining pool for ethereum mm -hmm. mining for uh, video cards or gpu devices and uh, i was a founder of wellsburg mining pool for about three years then i exited this company and after two years of stranding we met with uh, mike jarvis uh, founder of emcd and uh, he offered me the role of ceo of emcd pool and i gladly accepted it yeah perfect okay i see and um well you also previously uh tell that yeah, you said that you uh, founded your own mining farm or mining pool. So, um, and uh, basically, ha have you enjoyed that experience uh, to continue it into your current career, into your current position? Yeah, it was uh, a nice experience. And uh, actually, um, at the same time, when I founded Wellsburg, Mike Jarvis was founded, uh, uh, founded EMCD pool. So we were uh, sort of competitors uh, oh. at the time but yeah uh, but we were like a friendly uh, competitor so mm -hmm. so we exchanged our experience and uh, also uh, since the market was not like such wide as it is uh, mm -hmm. today which is still early actually but still and yeah. uh, it was really nice talking to other uh, market players to other uh, competitors like slush pool actually one of the first bitcoin mining pools ever uh, mm -hmm. which is registered and situated in prague also and uh, yeah i like it so much because Thank it's you. fun it's interesting uh -huh. and challenging okay i see i see and um, also um so could you tell us a bit about how mining pools are operating how do they work what are their functions for our listeners to understand what it is so if you never uh, dived into the mining and how it everything works uh that's the most easy explanation is that um do you know the dice right this with the uh, uh like one to six dice right so yeah. you throw the dice uh every 10 minutes and if you have like let's say six on it so you want a block reward so you want th you want something but the problem is that uh, you can throw like these dice like 10 times or 20 times but still have no this uh, six on it right and uh, then you call your friends and they also have their dices so you throw one uh, all together and if one friend have on his dice six so we split the reward yeah. This is basic uh, how mining pool operates. So uh, all the miners uh, around the world unite under one like uh, wallet address, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, they solve the mathematical equations, like yeah, uh, at the same time at once. And uh, if someone, just one of them, find the right uh, the right solution, so everyone gets rewarded. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's the, easy, and that's the easiest yeah. explanation, right? So, in this case, it's, uh, uh, you have more chances to get any reward uh, rather than sit and wait for just two years and uh, expect this one reward for you, one uh, person as a sole miner, right? So, actually. That's right. So, you have, mm -hmm. yeah. 
yeah, well, so, still, still actually, mining. True. Still mining. Does it still exist? Is it uh, still possible? Solar yes, mining. Yes. Uh, uh, solar mining is still possible. It <laughs> it uh, has its own like uh, drawbacks, right? Uh, mm -hmm. So you need to think about liquidity. You need to think about uh, the pool, pool lock and so on. Uh, but uh, still today we uh, have a lot of pools uh, that uh, uh, come up new uh -huh. pools right on the market yeah. and this is uh, cool because we see this the market growing and uh, mm. the competition is growing as well so uh, we can expect the more quality of the services in the future mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah I see and uh, you mentioned that uh, the number of pools uh, is growing but um, actually uh, the functionality of any pool is the same right so how do they differ what differs uh, you personally i mean emdc from other pools how do you think emcd uh provides an extensive uh and uh, dedicated for personal support manager mm -hmm. so we focus a lot on this um, personalization and uh, on technical support that will um help you in any time at 24 mm -hmm. 7 right yeah. so uh and uh since the mining pool itself is the uh, have pretty uh, simple um, idea uh, uh -huh. behind itself, so the only thing uh, mining pool can differ is with the uh, mining fee and uh, mm -hmm. with the quality of support, with quality of u uh, user experience and user interface, or mm -hmm. something like um, some additional right mm -hmm. um, things. Yeah. Uh, we at EMCD. Um, um, place a huge bet on uh, personalization and uh, how we approach to every client. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. And uh, what do you think in general about the current uh, bear market, about the current situation where we all are in <laughs> still? So is bear market a bad time or is it, is it a good time, whether it's a good time for some opportunities or not? Actually, bear market is really good because it. Every time we see the bear market, it just uh, confirms the uh, theory about uh, our market cycles, right? So uh, we saw bear market in 2018 and 2019 years, and also we saw bear market in 2015 and 16 years, and it was uh, completely the same. Like uh, mm -hmm. Bitcoin grow high, then hit. Uh, it just drops a yeah. bit, and then uh, we wait about two years to uh, see him yeah. go even higher again. Bear market is a good time to build and a good time to evaluate, um, like your product, what value you bring to end user, and get a feedback from user. Mm -hmm. And it uh, filters uh, those players who are not approaching seriously to their uh, businesses uh -huh. and this is another like indicator that you can um, think about uh, other companies uh -huh. like um, so when was the company live and registered uh -huh. or was it um, uh, just appeared or was it before even the previous uh, bull market yeah and uh, this the is another strongest. thing for yes for, for example <laughs> That's true. For example, uh, like at EMCD, we uh, took this time during this bear market uh, to think about what our client clients value the most, mm -hmm. and we just figure out that a lot of uh, miners um, are seeking for uh, white label solutions, mm -hmm. and they're seeking for uh, referrals. Um, a better user experience uh, for referrals and for affiliate programs and so on. That's mm -hmm. why we focus on building uh, these new solutions and mm -hmm. we will like, uh, make a new release in the next two months mm -hmm. uh, with a new version of our mining pool. And it was a, a huge deal for mm -hmm. our customers, for our partners and for us uh, as well. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I see, I see. Okay. And uh, I would also like to uh, find out your opinion about halving. What do you think? Uh, because many people are scared of it. Many people are thinking with horror that it, it's coming next year. And uh, oh my God, uh, how will we survive? <laughs> and things like that. I mean, uh, we are not scaring. Uh, we, we are scared about the halving because it happened already multiple times, right? So uh, every time... Ha 
how it appears, the price goes up. And it means that, yes, like we will have less Bitcoins from uh, one block. That, that's true. Mm -hmm. But uh, if the price uh, will go up, so it, it compensates, right? So yeah. um, last time we saw like uh, we saw halving the price uh, went up like well multiple times. Yeah. And uh, it, we just don't like think about the halving like uh, something bad. We just uh, think about the halving as something planned thing, right? And we just will adapt accordingly. So, uh -huh. yeah. This is so nothing, nothing to worry about. In fact, nothing to worry about. Everything is good. So we already been there, and it will happen as it was planned before. And we just need to see the history, right? Uh, if yeah. you look at the charts, uh, when last halvings happened, mm -hmm. it, uh, it happened the same. So um, a lot of miners just uh, bought uh, um, equipment mm -hmm. right before the halving. Uh, they place this equipment on the uh, mining uh, centers, like yours, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's a good thing to buy equipment and to place it in, in data centers right before the halving because it's the best. Uh, they could get the best prices, and <clears throat> they could get uh, the best ROI, yeah. the best returns afterwards. Yes. Exactly, but not so many people understand it. <laughs> And they are waiting for the market to start growing and then they are buying the equipment again with high prices and it's much more risky in fact i can advise to do uh, their own research and to check the prices uh mm -hmm. when last halvings happened mm -hmm. and what happened with the uh, bitcoin price previously right mm -hmm. and um I sh we at emcd uh count on the same price behavior right and the uh, same incomes and the same like um, same outcomes uh, based on the historical price mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see okay and uh, what do you think uh, is required or could be done for uh, for all of us to sort of um, increase uh, not increase but to, what should be done for the mass adoption of Bitcoin? What can we all do to make it to make it uh, closer? I got the question. Yeah. Uh, uh, to make it closer, um, uh, to make it more usable, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, look, as I like to say, that uh, Bitcoin itself is not just a currency, but it's a network. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a theory, and a lot of uh, works like um, was done on this uh, topic. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a, a network effect, and it means that the more people are using a um, product or Bitcoin in this case, right, um, mm -hmm. the more value uh, Bitcoin have uh, and brings uh, to these end users, right. So I mean that if me and you, we are uh, just two in the world who, mm -hmm. uh, who have these uh, Bitcoins. So for the rest mm -hmm. of the world, uh, this Bitcoin will have a very few value, right? Mm -hmm. And it was no reason to use it. Um, yeah. Because we three, like and the new man, uh, will be the only people in the world uh, who can exchange. But the more people will come into the network, the more people will... Uh, I adopt this uh, cryptocurrency, uh, and the more people will like start um, creating their new wallets, right? Uh -huh. And uh, learn about crypto and learn about uh, Bitcoin. The more value this network brings to the uh, people of the world, and yeah. uh, to my like opinion, mm -hmm. I don't hear anyone uh, who said, "Hey." I'm stopping using Bitcoin. <laughs> uh, I've heard never about it, mm -hmm. but I've heard. Uh, I'm hearing constantly that hey, finally, I just installed a new wallet and I'm starting to like uh, think about it. And you mm -hmm. see, so uh, this way, uh, as a fundamental like analysis, mm -hmm. uh, show me that uh, the value of Bitcoin network is just grows, mm -hmm. and uh, this leads me to the uh, conclusion that the uh, the demand of the Bitcoin will only grow. Uh -huh. And if supply of Bitcoin will 
uh, become two times less. Yeah. Or what happens with the product when the demand is growing in supply? Uh, it, yeah, decreases. Yes, yes. Yeah and decreases the supply, so mm -hmm. uh, the price usually grows. Mm -hmm. And um, I like this concept about the uh, network effects, right? Yeah, <laughs> me too, me too. <laughs> yeah, thanks for sharing. Okay, thank you so much for this wonderful conversation. Thank you so much for your thoughts. And guys, as always, uh, at the end of our interview, uh, we announce giveaways. Uh, you are welcome to come up with your questions to our guest and write them in comments under this video. And in several days, we will select one of the most interesting questions and its author will get a free Bitcoin mining contract from ECOS. So you are welcome to try your luck. So thanks so much, Eugene. Thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you for having me, Anna. It was yeah. an absolute pleasure. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.